balance. I'm really excited to be talking about balance. I'm constantly searching for balance in my life, always. I've always been like that. I'm a Libra, I'm all about the scale and making sure I'm at peace and I have tranquility in my life and balance. Before I get into the three categories, for Conversations with Charlotte series, I want you guys to know that everything that I'm talking to you guys about, I've been through or I'm going through or it's something that I've experienced. So I'm not gonna talk about anything that I haven't been through personally or been around. It just wouldn't make any sense. So that's what I wanted to get out of the way. Um, and let's jump into it. Three types of balance categories that I wanted to talk about. Social, spiritual, and physical. First one, social. Friends, work, family, right? Um, let's talk about friends. This is a tricky one. I've always been the type of person to only have a very, 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 very small group of friends. And by small, I mean like two. <laughs> um, and, and, and it also may have something to do with the fact that I'm not a social butterfly. I don't like to, you know, go out and party and be around like a large groups of people. Like that totally has something to do with that as well. But when it comes to friends and true friends, I only have a couple. Quality over quantity for me. Um, some of us or some of you may have a lot of friends that you hang out with, but they're not really bringing anything to the table. They're not really bringing positivity into your life. They're not really uplifting you. They're just kind of there. It's okay to have that, you know, social friends, the social friends that you want to go out with and have a good time, a good laugh. But you need to balance that out in your life because if that's all you're surrounding yourself with, then it's going to affect you. Who you surround yourself with is a reflection of yourself. So you need to keep that in mind. There may be certain friends that you need to get rid of or let go of. Whoever or whatever is not helping you out, not bringing anything to you that's going to be beneficial to you or helping you, it's just kind of weighing you down or not really doing anything, then you need to reevaluate that and focus more on things in your life or people in your life or hobbies in your life, something that's going to build you up. Once you do that, it's going to outweigh the those relationships or those friends that you go out with or whatever. Work is the second one. There's some of you that are too lazy, don't work enough, or and there's some of you that work way too much and have no time for the people that you love that are surrounding you. I've struggled with both. I've been lazy before. Um, I've dealt with, you know, people who are dealing with life and work and the people around you and how it affects you. Um, you have to keep in mind when you're at work, leave it at work. When you're at home, leave it you know, spend time with those people that you care about because it does affect them. The third is family. Now, this, it, it depends because if you're young or you, you're not old enough to, to move out of your house and the people that are unhealthy for you are living in the house you're living in, then that's kind of tricky. Um, if it's kind of just more of like a person's negative and kind of like, okay, you know what? This is coming out. It's really pissing me off. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> if you're living with that person who's negative or who's, you know, bothering you or just not bringing positivity into your life, then the way, the only thing that you can do is learn how to not feed into that. Um, once you have the confidence and the ability to not feed into it is when it's not going to affect you anymore. If it's a really serious situation and it's really unhealthy for you whatever the case is whatever's going on if you live with them you need to tell somebody you need to tell somebody who you trust luckily my mom split away from my father when i was eight but i mean i was around unhealthiness for a while but uh, i was finally at an age at eight years old that it wasn't around me like constantly but there were it was years after that where i would visit him and he would still be in my life that it was so unhealthy I, I knew that if I stayed in contact with my dad I mean my mental health would have been just I don't even know like thank God like 
that I had the strength in me to walk away from it and the the wisdom to like know that I could not keep myself in that situation. So I thank God every day that I walked away from it. Ran away from it, literally. If there's anything in your life that's seriously unhealthy for you or someone who's really unhealthy for you, you, you literally have to walk away from it. Um, you need that balance of peace in your life. So that's something <laughs> that I wanted to share with you on family. Moving on, this little guy. Don't we all love this one? I can have a whole video dedicated to the cell phones and social networks and, but, but mainly the cell phone. Are you capable of living a day without your phone? Are you capable of living an hour without your phone? Half hour? I'm guilt, just as guilty as anyone. I'm on my phone, I'm Snapchatting, I'm taking pictures, I'm videoing, I'm tweeting, I'm texting. I'm just as guilty. But I will say I've been on both ends of the spectrum where I'm out to dinner and the person next to me or in front of me is... Okay? I've been on both ends. I've done it and they've done it. And most people don't like to be going out to eat with somebody they want to spend time with and they're on their phone the whole time. Social media and all these outlets are really awesome and I'm grateful for them because this is like, you know, what I'm doing right now. I'm on YouTube sharing a video with you and I have to upload it and I have to take pictures and I'm, and I love like taking pictures of art. I love capturing moments, but this is seriously, this is like needs to be thrown. It needs to be thrown. Like, balancing that, we need to, like, really just... I have to keep reminding myself, like, just put your phone down. Put it down and spend time with this person that you're in front of. Because quality time, those memories that you're going to have, those conversations that you're going to have, that that's, that's so important. And a phone can wait. A text can wait. You know, it, it just can. And I think that in this generation, we need to seriously reevaluate that balance out social life and healthiness rather than social media and being on your phone like connected to your like it's like glued on you <sighs> i need to put it down next is spiritual and this one i have so much to say about to me, this is so, so important. On the, on the spectrum, on the scale for spiritual balance, there's people who say, oh, I believe, and then they live like their lives like however the hell they want. They just do whatever they want, and they just say, yep, I believe. And then there's the people over here who are extremists. It is so hard and so rare to me to find Christians who are balanced, who are well-rounded, who are capable and confident enough in their faith to calm down, take a step back, and be able to talk to people who don't believe or who are doing the wrong things and not judge them and not, look, I'm guilty of everything I'm talking about. I have experienced and been through all of it. I'm not gonna sit here and say I've never judged anyone before in my life. There are balance, there's some that are balanced, especially in the church that I'm going to, like, I'm amazed at how cool the church is and how amazing the, 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 my pastor is and just and all that. But, you know, it's hard. It's hard to balance it, but you, as a Christian, you need to. But at the same time, you can't be so cool of a person, so low in the spectrum that you have no standards or morals or you don't live your life a certain way. Like, that's not healthy either. Be cool with people that aren't or don't have the same beliefs. You don't have to constantly judge them. But at the same time, you have to know who you are and you have to be a strong person to be able to deal with certain things. For religion, the people that want to keep talking need to do more of this. 
You don't understand how powerful not speaking is. Of course, there are going to be people who are truly seeking guidance and help, and they're going to go to the people that, that are, you know, experienced and stuff. Of course, then you can share your knowledge, and obviously, like, there's a time and a place, and you have to be able to read people. You have to be very certain with people's emotions, you have to, be, like, understand. Balance. Balance it. Am I being, like, abrasive right now? Like, am I, like, just, like, too loud and, like, no. How I sound? <laughs> I sound like I'm judging them, though. No, but really, like, I just feel like, as a Christian, like, that's the one thing that I just truly can't stand. Physical. This one, I'm not going to touch on too much. The reason is because I'm not very balanced with this one. But this is the truth. There's people who are lazy and who eat whatever they want, whenever they want. There's other people who are very, very healthy and work out on a regular day basis or every other day basis. That's that. And then there's the healthy, well-balanced person. And I am not that. <laughs> um, but then there's the people that just eat healthy. Compl just That's the only thing they do. They will not touch anything else. Please have a donut. Have a slice of pizza, please. Dear God. I'm just jealous because they're healthy. But really though, like, balancing that, you can be really healthy and also have like a day where you want to eat something and enjoy food, just enjoy food. Piece of cake's gonna make you happy once in a while, not gonna lie. For you that are watching that go to the gym on a regular basis, like, do you realize how amazing that is? To me, that, that discipline is so awesome. And like, you need to give yourself a pat on the back because that's just, that's just telling everyone that you have discipline in some area in your life. So if you have that under control and the other ones are kind of, you know, out of whack or whatever, think about the fact that you are capable of getting up in the morning, going to the gym, or going at night, like, on a regular basis, and spending that time there and, like, doing that exercise and building those muscles, and then eating healthy, like, being able to say, no, I'm limiting myself to something healthy, being strict. That's, that's definitely a sign that you are a strong person and that you are capable of a lot more. You're disciplined. Or just like you're balanced in your social life and you're good with all that. You have qualities, you have strengths, you have discipline. You just have to branch out and really just try to reevaluate your life, press pause, and look at all these different areas and try to balance everything. The social, spiritual, and physical. You gotta strive for it. Hopefully I made it quick and understandable, even though it's 28 minutes right now. I just love talking for 30 minutes. That's it for uh, balance and my conversations with Charlotte. What are your thoughts on how to improve yourself with balancing? Because I need tips as well. So I love, oh my gosh, I love you guys so much for commenting on my last video and for interacting because I mean, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to have conversations. I really appreciate it. It's, it really touched my heart. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to follow me on other social networks, like these, then you can do that. It's just my name. Love you guys, and bye.